Hey, what's up everyone? Once again, No More Chains here. Unchained with No More Chains. You are tuning in today. Um, I am looking at a dear friend in the space, right? And that's what I wanted to highlight. Who is Crypto Equip, right? So I say he's a friend because just in our dealings with each other back and forth, I've been watching him. I've been watching him move, what he's doing. And I just like to highlight real people in the space. Again, nothing that I say is because somebody came to me and said, hey, by the way, you should do a video about so-and-so and we're gonna pay you to do this or or whatever. So I'm not promoting anything. I just like to, like, I love people. I love highlighting people, real people, building others up. I love to show honor to whom honor is due. That's why I do what I do. It's simply from genuine pure motives that I just want to, I'm excited about things like this. I love um, great humanitarian efforts. I love when people come into the space and do amazing, amazing things, um, whether it's, you know, developers, coders, builders, just people that are just all around loving and kind. Like it's, it's so amazing from the little guys to the big guys. It doesn't matter. It's, it's anything in between, right? So who is crypto equip, right? I share a lot of his stuff around. Who is he, right? Well, here we go. Let's take a look. I've got his Twitter pulled up here. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Um, so, Crypto Equip here, right? So this guy comes on the scene, right? We say who is Crypto Equip. There's actually memes, you know, with the Scooby Doo, um, the Scooby Doo memes where it's like pulling the mask off and then it's just his his M A Y C head. Um, so I first came into contact with this guy because he was running these giveaways constantly, right? Constantly running giveaways, so much so that other people were watching and being like, "What is this guy doing? Engagement farming?" No, he wasn't engagement farming. He just legitimately was genuine. Um, have had, you know, so much um, uh, social interaction with him. I've watched him pour into other people's lives, just help people in the space, like just doing really tremendous acts of kindness um, and doing it in a fun, meme kind of way, right? So he just like comes on the scene. He's part of all sorts of different projects. Um, obviously he has, you know, his MAYC, um, uh, Pepe Yacht Club, um, you know, which is all about, you know, being kind to one another and things of that nature. You've got you know, God hates NFTs. He's just, he's just all through it. Right. But then you see on his banner here, there's this thing. It looks like the top part of a bear's head, right? Well, that's because he has formed a project. Now, before I get into that, I want to talk about, again, these, these things that he's been doing, genuine acts of kindness. I mean, he showed up, there's people that I know in the space that have just been randomly blessed by him. He shows up in a Twitter space, a small Twitter space that a friend of mine is doing, right? And and over here, uh, uh, he's just he just shows up and then randomly DMs a guy and is like, hey, give me your wallet address. I'm going to send you a little ETH. Why? Because he's recognizing real people and he's out going out of his way to just bless people. He's not just trying to to load someone's bags that has full bags. He's, he's like just genuinely trying to pour into people. And I think that's unique. Now, on to the Bear and Bull project, right? What 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 is going on with Bear and Bull NFT? What is all this that I'm hearing about this? Well, it's really unique, actually. So let me go ahead and pull that up as well. All right, so this tweet just dropped uh, 20 minutes ago, just three more days to mint. To mint what? Well, there's these alpha passes, 333. And the way that he did it, he did it like inter intertwined, he like does giveaways every day. He's doing these giveaways. Um, and sometimes, sometimes in these giveaways, he just asks a question and, and you'll go to answer that question. Well, there was one of them. I don't even, I can't even remember hundred percent if it was a giveaway or not, but there was something where if you interacted with this tweet and you didn't even really know it at the time that he locked the tweet and then said, all right, these people, like these people are included in the 333, right? So the 333 is an alpha pass mint. You get the alpha pass. And if you hold that alpha pass, you don't transfer it. You don't sell it. You don't do anything. You just hold it it gives you a free mint for the upcoming 3,333 variable NFT mint, right? So you hodl this and then later on, you reap the reward of having another free mint. And there's so much other stuff going on as well. And so the art is done by AI Anarchist and you can see like some of his tweets and stuff like that um, is if you scrub through the Bear and Bolt NFT uh, Twitter itself, um, you have a Discord that's open. The Discord is live and it's popping all the time. Rumbles for whitelists. And I think the whitelist phase is probably getting to a close. But sometimes you'll see Crypto Equip, he just hops in the Discord and he's like, hey, you, give me your Twitter and your wallet address. You know, and, and then you, you look at that and he's just, he's trying to find people that are genuinely active and that are real. 
he's not he's he's trying to to make the project safe and secure so it's not just this fly by night pump and dump he's he's done something even more unique that i think is really the highlight of this video so what he did in the beginning is he actually chose this group of people of 15 people right so 15 one five and that one five was able to choose five more people what did they what were they chosen for well they were chosen to be part of a group called dow one which is a governing board for the project. They also get some of the proceeds. I can't remember exactly. I think it was from like secondary sales um, and things of that nature, but they get a chunk. So why did he? Why is he building all this and then handing it over? Why is he doing this? Well, maybe I don't 100% know, but I have a feeling it has to do with just the generosity in his heart and he's just legitimately trying to do something for people in this space. We're in a bear market. And you see a bear and a bull NFT. It's not a bear. It's not a bull. And why is that? Because there's this, this, this part inside of us during a bear market that we just don't know what to do. We don't know if we should be buying the top or buying the bottom. We don't know if we should be trusting in this or trusting in that. It's this inner battle of taking profits. It's all these different things. And then, of course, on a regular human level, a philanthropy level, a humanitarian level, like there's all this stuff working in this, right? And now this isn't an exhaustive explanation of the whole project. It's just some of the things that I have witnessed about it. And, so, and something more importantly is witnessing about the founder, Crypto Equipped. Amazing person, a true friend in the space, something, somebody that people should really be watching and paying attention to. I mean, doing all this out of the kindness of his heart because for whatever reason, he, he feels like he needs to do that. And there's something else too. There's a whole language around this, right? You can go to the Urban Dictionary. This is amazing, right? So he misspelled something in a post. He meant to say our, and instead of that, he said Bauer. And we all just kind of rallied around it. And then next thing you know, a whole new language set took off. A whole meme type of language set, but yet there was a deeper meaning to it, right? So let's go ahead and look at that for a sec. So Bauerish, you hear this all, you see it flying around the space. Bauerish, what does it mean to be Bauerish? Well, a way of living and being Bowerish. Every day, one that believes that all things are possible and instills confidence, kindness, positivity, and hope to all they come in contact with every Bower of every day. A state of being much like that of being bullish and in other instances, similar in nature to being bullish, but with the connotation of being and or experiencing extreme excitement that derives from confidence, kindness, positivity and hope so when you look at that and you realize that bowerish it's more than just doing something for someone else it's out of compassion and kindness and positivity and hope it's instilling confidence in others it's building others up and wait, wait, wait building others up that's the key that's the key right there that i find in crypto equip he's he's officiated 15 members to be Dow one who were able to give that role to five other people. And not only that, they were gifted with certain whitelists for this alpha pass that they were able to give out. So it's not just that this person's coming on the scene to just pour out on people. He's also lifting other people up to pour out on others. So it's kind of like a movement, a movement of compassion, of positivity, of kindness. And of, you know, it's just so amazing when you see true, genuine acts of kindness like that. It's not a bag pump. It's not, oh, you know, come and buy this project so we can pump bags. This person came in to build other people up. And that's what I've seen. He goes into random, you know, Twitter spaces and just rewards people for being who they are. I think that's pretty unique and special, right? And I think it's something that's noteworthy in this space. And that's the kind of thing I want to focus on as unchained with no more chains, right? It's just focusing on positivity, hope, kindness, compassion. These things are unique and they need to be highlighted. And we wanna see more of that in the Web3 space where we are watching real builders build and develop other people and empowering other people to do amazing feats in the space. Well, thank you so much again for tuning in for this segment of Unchained with No More Chains. I hope it brought some sort of value. As always, we just, Ask that you like and retweet this. You know, if you like this content, leave a comment. Share what you got out of this, if anything, because it's all about learning and growing and collabing with each other. And definitely go give Crypto Equip a follow. Give the Bear and the Bull NFT a follow. And again, not financial advice, but go look at what they're doing. That's the principle behind everything that I'm sharing. It's not just about investing in, in a project. It's about finding real people doing real things. And I think that is something that the space needs more of, right? 
So again, thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Have a blessed day.